Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to implement delete employee feature in a React application. Well, if you look at the screenshot over here, we are going to add a delete button in actions column like this. And whenever user want to delete the particular employee, then user can go ahead and click on the corresponding employee, you know, delete button. For example, here, let us say user want to delete the Ramesh employee, then user can go ahead and click, you know, click on this delete button to delete this Ramesh employee. All right great so here let us take a look into development steps in the employee service we will add the rest client code to call delete employee rest api using axios next we will add a delete button to list employees table next we will create a javascript function to handle delete button event and finally we are going to test all these changes okay so let us go to employee service and then let us write the rest client code to call delete employee rest api using axios so here let's head over to vs code I'm going to apply service.js file and here let us write the rest client code. So here export const and let us give variable name delete employee and then pass employee ID as a parameter to this method and then arrow function and then call axios dot delete. Well in order to make HTTP delete request we can use delete method and then pass rest API base URL next we need to append this employee id to this url so here let's have a concatenation operator that is plus within a single quote slash and then employee id perfect now we have written a rest client code to call delete employee rest api using axios dot delete method next let us take a look into next step next step is add delete button to list employees table so let us go to our project and go to list employee component over here and here we have a table and go to table body and here we have already a update button so similarly let us add the delete button so here let us have a button and let us give name to the button as delete and let us add the bootstrap css classes so here class name property and then bootstrap css class name button button danger perfect next let us have a on click event handler for that let us call on click property and here we need to pass the handler function name so we need to also pass the employee id so let us use the arrow function to pass the employee id to the handler method so arrow function and let us give the function name as remove employee and then pass employee dot id perfect next let us implement this remove employee event handler method so just copy this method and go to return statement and just above this return statement just create the javascript function function and then remove employee and then pass employee id and here let us have a console.log just to print this employee id perfect next let us go to browser and look at here the delete button is added to the actions column next just right click inspect and go to console clear the console and click on the delete button and you can see here the id 2 is printed in a console it means the id is available in a remove employee method okay next let us call delete employee method from employee service and make sure that this delete employee method is imported at the top all right next let us pass employee id as a parameter to this method and then call then method and then let us have a response object and then let us use arrow function all right and here let's have catch block catch error and then arrow function console dot error and then pass error object perfect so here once user click on the delete button then the corresponding employee will be deleted and then user have to navigate to the list of employees page isn't it next if you go to use effect hook so here we have written the logic like we have called list employees method from employee service so here what we can do is we can have this logic in a separate method so let us cut this logic and here let's create a separate javascript function function get all employees and then paste this logic 
and next go to use effect hook and here simply call this get all employees method okay perfect now we have quickly refactored this code so we have created a separate function and we have kept the logic over here next we can call this function in a remove employee method as well so go to remove employee method go to this delete employee call and here just call get all employees next let us take a look into next step next step is test above changes well let's go to our project and look at here our react applications up and running in our development server next let us go to browser and let us test all these changes so here go to list up employees page and let us say we want to delete the employee that is sanjay123 so go ahead and click on the corresponding delete button and there we go the sanjay employee is deleted next let us say we want to delete the employee with id 7 just click on the corresponding delete button there we go the employee is successfully deleted it means the delete employee feature is working as expected well notice here update and delete button so both the buttons are attached so let us give some space between update and delete buttons so let us go to our project and go to list employee component and go to delete button over here and here let us add the inline style so for that let us call style property and then object and then it has margin left so let us call margin left and let us give value as 10 pixel perfect next let us save this file and let's go to browser and now look at here there is a space between update and delete buttons now it looks good isn't it so next let us click on this delete button to delete the employee with id 6 and there we go it means we have successfully implemented delete employee feature all right get i will see you in the next lecture